Hello, ito na naman ako after one second. <laughs> Miss Aretha <laughs> Miss Aretha Hindi pa tayo nakikita in person uh, Saan lang ba kita nakita Miss Aretha uh, <laughs> Ate Anna Lindjo Malone Ann Ivy Kahit busy ka Anna Ivy kahit ang lalaba ka alam mo na Ha? Ano yan? Abelina Carol Mary Carl, Mary Joy Panisales, Rhea Si Glenn ulit, nalimutan ko na yung tatlo <laughs> Jen ba? Janelle? Jen? Sino ba yun? <laughs> Basta isa Janelle, Jem Something like that <laughs> Ay, ito ulit ah, dali, inom muna akong water Dapat pala pala ng water, salit na, naman, you never, you make an, dali lang ha. Tumawin pa ko. Kasi natutuyuan ako ng laway. Ano pa kayo namin ko? Chocolate? Drink, chucky, or water. Uh, ano bang inamin ko? Water. Okay, narin ko water tawag dahil mas nakaka-wow ang ano mas nakaka-wow? Yung may sugar. kasi uh, hindi ko uh, in-expect na may um, interesado okay na of all the people hindi ko na-expect no? na may interesado na malaman Um, sa totoo, mahirap mag mag ano mga book na to mag share or magbasa ng book na to kasi um, meron kasi itong uh, word of uh, caution kasi nakalagay sa You know, sa huli. Revelation 22, 18 to 21. For I testify to everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this book. If anyone adds to these things, God will add him, add to him the plagues that are written in this book. Ang nakakatakot, di ba? <laughs> Pero bakit tayo matatakot yung si um, Jesus ang kasama natin? At hindi naman tayo magdadagdag dito na kung ano-ano o magbabawas ng mga uh, nakasulat dito sa Revelation. And if anyone takes away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part from the book of life, from the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. I am coming quickly. He who testifies to these things says, Surely, I am coming quickly. Si Jesus nagsasabi na. Amen. Even so, Come, Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Kaya marami ang tao na uh, takot pagbasa ng uh, or 
mag-interpret nito. And ako din, takot din ako. Uh, pero mag-pray tayo kay Almighty Father, kay Jesus Christ. Kasi um, may request to. So, it's time. I-start lang. Pero hindi naman tatapos at kasi hindi pa rin tapos yung loop. Sarit-sarit lang lang. Sarit-sarit lang lang ha. Ito. Um, chapter 1 lang na tayo. Revelation 1. The introduction and benediction. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his servants things which must surely take place. And he sent and signified it by his angel to his servant John, who bore witness to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ to all things that he saw. Blessed is he who reads and those who hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written in it. For the time is near. Introduction ng tayo ha. Ang itong uh, book of Revelation, alam niyo naman na si John, no? nagsulad na to, one of the apostles, si John the Beloved, na kapatid ni James, nang kaya nga sinabi ko, ko kanina sa isang uh, video, uh, kapatid niya si James na unang sa mga apostol siya ang unang namatay pinatay siya siya ang unang uh, na persecute at pinatay sa mga apostles kasi nasulat pa siya dito sa um, New Testament na namatay siya I believe it's in Acts dun yata nakalagay John the Beloved was the apostle who wrote the book of the Revelation when he wrote this book, his this book, he was in the island of Patmos. Yung Patmos, um, island siya na sakop ng Greece. Nung nandun siya, haba nagpe-pray siya sa, kasi nandun siya eh, parang mag-isa lang siya ron, uh, pinarusahan siya or inilayo sa mga ibang tao para excommunicated or um, yung uh, parang wala siyang makausap, parang parusa, gano'n, parang uh, prisoner siya. So, siya yung uh, nandun na sa island na yun. Nagpe-pray siya din lagi. Kaya siya um, nabuhay ng matagal. Kahit yung nasa Patmos pa siya, hindi siya ginalaw ng mga tao. Dahil yun ang gusto ni Jesus. Hindi naman magagalaw ang isang tao kung hindi um, oras na niya na payag si Jesus. Naintindihan niyo ba? So si John, kaya mahaba ang buhay niya kasi um, may mission pa siya. Kailangan pa niyang tapusin isulat itong Book of Revelation. Kasi siya ang napili ni Jesus Christ na magsulat ng Book of Revelation. Um, Jesus chose John because he was the youngest of the apostle. At hindi lang siya yung youngest, no? Um, he was in his um, 20s early 20s nung time na yon, nung maging apostle siya kasi bata siya nun kung bata ka nung uh, as apostle ka ni Christ di ba lagi ka nakatabi sa teacher mo marami ka mga tanong gusto mong malaman lahat so ganun siya kaya na natatawag siya ng mga apostle na John the Beloved kasi nga yung uh, ibang mga apostle parang medyo kasi nga gusto lang pagagawan si Jesus di ba so eh si uh, John ang laging katabi oh <laughs> wala sila magawa hindi naman ni uh, Jesus uh, lumapit din sila kaso nga ito namang si um, Peter minsan laging mali ang, ang entrance di ba parang masyadong uh, kahit mahal sa ni Jesus may yung pagsasalita niya minsan medyo mali parang ako mali mali ang mga pinagsasabi ko na parang ano ko di ba He believed Jesus, so si John, he believed Jesus in whatever he says. Kasi nakita ni Jesus yung heart niya. Kaya 
um, isa siya, siya ang pinili na magsulat ito, Revelation. Nagkita ni Jesus yung heart niya. Kasi pwede naman yung pili yung ibang mga apostle, di ba? Pero bakit si John? Some apostles may had become jealous of John because John always wanted to walk beside Jesus. He was in awe of Jesus and Jesus was happy that he was eager to serve him. So, eager na eager or masayang masaya si um, John sa mga ginagawa niya. Lagi siyang excited pag may bagong pupunta tayo sa ganun. Si John lagi yung parang excited na no? ipagkakataon na naman natin to para um, may spread ang word of God. Pagkakataon na naman natin to para matuto kay Jesus. Was when Jesus was uh, crucified on the cross, John was the only apostle who had the courage to be seen beside him. Si John lang yung malakas ang daob na kahit na ano, oo, oh, tumakbo ako, nilayuan ko si Jesus, nagtatakbo ko. Pero nakita ko na si Jesus na nandiyan na kanyang kakrucify, wala na akong pakalam, hindi na ako natatakot. Pupunta ako ron, nalapit ako kay Jesus. Kaya sa mga poso, si John lang nakalapit kay Jesus. Nandun siya, kita-kita niya si Jesus na nakapako. At kaya siya rin ang ibinila, di ba sabi, um, ma, uh, woman, your son, son, your mother. Kaya ibinilin ni Jesus yung kanyang um, earthly mother kay John. Kasi si John niya, malakas ang loob ay courage siya, tsaka yung pagmamahal niya kay Jesus. Hindi ba totoong basahan ng iba pang mga apostol? Kaya um, nag-decide si Jesus na si kay John niya, ibilin si Mary. Kaya from that time on, um, naging mother na ni John the Baptist, si Mary. Pinuro na niyang ano, nanay niya, ganun. Because of John's faithfulness when Jesus was on earth, Jesus chose John to reveal on what will happen to the end of time. If there was a beginning of the world, there will also be an ending. At saka, kaya pinili niyan si John na magsulat itong revelation kasi um, he trusted John. And he wants John to be remembered as the apostle who revealed the end of times. Kasi nga, um, pinakita ni John yung pagmamahal niya kay Jesus Christ. Kaya siya napili ni Jesus. Greeting the seven churches. John, to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace to you and peace from him. So angel to, nakakausap si John. Si John kasi habang nagpe-pray siya, bigla siya nagkaroon ng uh, vision. Habang nagpe-pray siya, bigla siyang uh, na iba may nagpakita ng angel sa kanya who is and who was and who is to come and from the seven spirits who are before his throne and from Jesus Christ the faithful witness the firstborn from the dead and the ruler over the thing over the, over the kings of the earth to him who loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood and has made us kings and priests to his God and Father to him be glory and dominion forever and ever amen Firstborn from the dead si Jesus Christ. Meaning, si Jesus Christ ang unang nabuhay. Nagaling sa katawang tao. Na kitang-kitang umakit sa langit. Para ipakita sa atin na may langit. Para ipakita sa, sa atin na pagsusunod tayo kay Jesus Christ, ganun din ang mangyayari sa atin. Mapupunta rin tayo sa langit kung susundin natin si Jesus Christ. Yun ang um, kaya niya pinakita yung pagkakit niya sa langit. Alam niya yun, ganun ba? Alam niya yun ha? Hindi lang yun para ipakita baba, hindi lang para ganun yun. 
um, pinakita yon para ipakita yun sa atin na pagsunod kayo sa akin, may langit. Magiging kasama niyo ako sa langit. Magkikita-kita tayo doon. Kasi yung before sa so, Old Testament, hindi na natapos. Kasi yung before sa so Old Testament, um, takot ang mga tao na mamatay kasi they don't know what's on the other side of this life. Okay? So, ano ba ang other side of this life? Pag nawala ka, ano na mong yan sa'yo? So, hindi alam ng tao yon Pero, nung si Jesus, nagpunta rito sa lupa, in-reveal niya kung paano. In-reveal niya na pag time na natin, nakukunin na niya tayo, nakakasama natin siya na may langit, na may everlasting life. Behold, He's coming with clouds, and every eye will see Him, even they who pierced Him. And all the tribes of the earth will mourn because of Him. Even so, Amen. Ibig sabihin ito, even those who pierced Him, makikita yung uh, dati na, uh, na bababa siya ng lalit. Sino ba mga nag-pierce sa Kanya? Eh di ba patay na yung mga nagpapo sa Kanya? Sino pa yung sinasabi ni uh, Jesus Christ? or ng um, angel dito na nag-first kay Jesus Christ. Tayo. Dahil makasalanan tayo. Isa tayo. Isa, isa tayo sa dahilan kung bakit siya pinako sa cross. Dahil sa kasalanan natin. Para i-save tayo. I am the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end, says the Lord. Who is and who was and who is to come. The Almighty. I, John, nagsasalita dito si John, both your brother and companion in the tribulation and kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ was on the island that is called Patmos for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. So, Lord's day is what? Sabbath day? Sa iba, Sabbath. Sa sa atin, sa iba naman, Sunday. Depende kung ano, pero pwede naman tayo magtrabaho, even na uh, Sabbath or Sunday, kung kahit anong tawag ninyo. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and I heard behind me a loud, tr a loud voice as of a trumpet saying, I am the Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, and what you see right in a book and send it to the seven churches, which are in Asia, to Ephesus, to Smyrna, to Pergamos, to Thyatira, to Sardis, to Philadelphia, and to Laodicea. Then I turned to see the voice that spoke with me, and having turned, I saw seven gold lampstands. And in the midst of the seven lampstands, one like the Son of Man. I thought you described now, John. John the Beloved. Iba si John the Baptist, iba? Ito si John the Beloved. Hindi-describe niya si Jesus. Kasi nagsalit tayo si Jesus eh. Na? Uh, gawa, sumulat ka na to. Isulat mo. Okay? Gumawa ka ng book. Ipadala mo sa seven churches. Asia. Na nasa Asia. Yung seven churches na yun. Ephesus, Smyrna, Pergamos, Thyatira, Sardis, Philadelphia, and Laodicea. And in the midst of the seven lampstands, yung um, seven churches to, no? One like the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the feet and girded about the chest with a golden band. His head and hair were like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes like a flame of fire. Ano yung sabihin ito? His hair were like wool. Ano ba yung kulay ng wool? As white as snow. And his eyes like a flame of fire. Puting puti. Makinang. 
Napaka-holy, napakalinis. His eyes look like a flame of fire. Yung mata niya. Um, it will pierce into your soul. Kasi nga, um, may um, init yung mata niya na maliwana na maraming wisdom and knowledge na hindi may paliwana. Kaya, ang nasabi lang ni um, John dito is like a flame of fire na kayang makapag change ng isang bagay. Kasi di ba ang fire nag-change ng isang bagay into something beautiful? Ganon din yung uh, nakikita niya sa mata ni Jesus Christ na na yung uh, mata nakakapag na isang tingin lang mati-change ka na, maano ka na yung uh, nagbabago ka mata, tingin pa lang sa mata yung mata pa lang niya His feet were like fine brass as if refined in a furnace Anong isabig, ibig sabihin nito? Yung paa niya Napakatibay. May, mayroong strength. Strong siya. Yung stance niya. Maganda yung tayo niya. Napaka-stable. And with conviction and um, kingly kingly um, ang dating. Kingly characteristic. And his voice as the sound of many waters. Alam niyo ba yung tubig yung water, di ba? Pag may sound yung water. Ano ba yung water? Yung baso, pag marami kang basa, lalagyan mo ng tubig yung isa-isa, no? Pag, pag, ting, ting, pag ginanon mo, di ba nakaka, kung, ano, nakaka-compose ka ng music? Nakakagawa ka ng iba-ibang mga sound? Ganon yung uh, boses ni Jesus Christ. Maganda na parang music, na parang, um, kakaiba ang uh, ang boses parang may echo na music na merong nagre reverb na hindi rin may kasi nga hindi nga niya may palawanag kaya ganito lang kaya description lang ang sinasabi niya na hindi kasi nga niya mapaliwanag sa sobrang ganda sa sobrang awesome sa sobrang amazing He had in his right hand seven stars. Out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword. Yung out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword. Ibig sabihin nun, walang, uh, walang galing na sword sa bibig niya, okay? Ang ibig sabihin nun, yung salita niya, um, masyadong matalim, tatagos sa puso at isipan at sa kaluluwa mo yung mga salita niya. Kasi sharp, sharp magsalita si Jesus. Um, and confident na hindi ma talagang uh, powerful. His countenance was like the sun shining in its strength. So napakaliwanag na nag-glow si Jesus. Kasi napakahuli niya. Siguro, hindi Pero hindi masakit sa mata. Hindi matanggal ni um, John. Kasi pa paano niya na-describe to kung matatanggal niya yung mata niya? Hindi niya, hindi ma-describe ni John kung gano ka-amazing yung nakikita niya. Kung gano ka-amazing si Jesus. Na napaka-holy, napaka-puti, na nag-glow, na hindi maintindihan. Pero na wala pa tayong nakitang ganito sa buong buhay natin. Makikita lang natin itong sinasabi ni John pag nakita natin si Jesus Christ in heaven. Kasi dito hindi natin siya makikita na ganito. Kasi hindi, tayo, hindi natin kaya. Hindi natin kaya makita si Jesus na ganito dahil mamamatay tayo. Dahil makasalaanan tayo. Masusunog agad tayo. 
And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. Nung makita niya, talagang nagpatiwara, nagpa, ano siya, nagpa... Talagang yumuko siya, talagang nakalood na nakayukong yuko, na parang patay na siya. Kasi nga, sa sobrang ganda na nakita niya na hindi niya alam na gusto yung sambay na talagang napaka-holy. Pero, yung right hand niya, um, nilagay niya kay uh, John, Do not be afraid, I am the first and the last. I am he who lives and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And I have the keys of Hades and of death. Ano ibig sabihin? I have the keys of Hades and of death. Ano yung si Hades? Yung Hades, siya yung impyerno. Okay? Impyerno ang Hades. At yung death, yung kamatayan. Nasa kanya ang susi ng impyerno at ng kamatayan. Siya ang may hawak ng lahat. Napaka-powerful ni Jesus Christ. Sabi ni Jesus Christ, Write the things which you have seen, and the things which you are, and the things which will take place after this. The mystery of the seven stars, which you saw in my right hand, and the seven golden lampstands, the seven stars, are the angels of the seven churches. And the seven lampstands, which you saw, are the seven churches. So yung seven uh, lampstands, yun yung seven churches. Bakit lampstand ang pagkakasabi niya sa seven churches? Bakit? At yung seven churches, mayroon din mga angels, no? May mga nagbabantay. Ito talaga yan, ito. Ang uh, 20 na to. Tomorrow. And also, um, look, tomorrow by Jesus. Tatanong pa natin kay Jesus. Okay lang, matanong. Oh, 30 minutes. Thank you, Asa Palikinig. Um, God bless us all. And don't forget to uh, pray to Jesus and to Almighty Father. Ask for the Holy Spirit to guide us always. Uh, whenever we go out, and also even if we are at home, we should also be praying to Jesus. Kahit na matutulog ka na, hindi ka makatulog, think about Jesus. And you, when you wake up in the morning, think about Jesus. Okay. God loves us all. Jesus loves us also. <laughs>